Our best effort tonight. Um, that's one heck of a football team. Uh, you know, that's a team that's won three out of the last four national championships for a reason. They do everything right. Uh, from top to bottom, extremely physical football team. We got beat up out there tonight. Uh, we need to go back. We need to coach better. We need to play better. And uh, execute the things and control the things we can't control. And uh, certainly we can do better in, in all facets of our, of our team. And uh, we'll do that. Uh, disappointing night. I thought we'd compete a little bit harder than that. But uh, give credit to them. Uh, that, that's a, like I said, that's a, the number one team in the nation for a reason. And uh, I was really impressed uh, with them, just like you watch them on tape. Their quarterback, they've seen it all. And uh, he, he's just extremely poised, makes plays. They're physical, they can run it, they put you in all kinds of predicaments. Um, and had us off balance most of the night, like they do to a lot of people. So uh, we'll, we'll get back, clean up the mistakes, and, and move forward with the second half of our season. Mark, what have you heard about Jalen? What his status is? He sprained an ankle, and uh, it was a pretty good ankle sprain, so I'm not sure. Coach, how physical were they? Very. That's a physical bunch. They're, they're uh, yeah, that's it's a big physical team that plays with great technique, and they're extremely well coached and very multiple. So put all that together, and it's a tough night. Mark Alabama was helping out early, giving a couple of early yeah. fumbles. Do you guys just couldn't take advantage of it? No, we couldn't, and, and they were still driving it. You know, they drove it down there. We get the turnover down, and kept us back there. You know, playing great defense. So we were. We were, even though we got a couple turnovers, we were still behind the eight ball most of the night and chasing it. It was an uphill climb. They had so many snaps in the first half, and that's a combination of things of uh, us not uh, getting first downs and not being able to stop them. And they were getting, you know, plenty of drives. They, they moved the ball very well against us. Mark, do you feel like your defense wore down a little bit just because they were on the field so much? I do, and, and you know, I, I do. I just think it was going to be tough to begin with, and then to be out there a bunch of plays and get banged up, you know, it was a tough, tough night. Mark, how much of the offensive game plan was built around Jalen and his mobility? Well, the problem was, is we, we, you know, he got most of the snaps. And as we're trying to settle in on this, you know, most of the snaps went to him. So Max got thrown into a tough situation against a great team. So, um, you know, it hurt us in that regard. Were you encouraged by the first quarter defense, especially? I, I guess you could say that we were hanging on, but like I said, I felt like we were behind from the beginning. You know, I just felt like we were just hanging on. But I was encouraged. We got a couple. Looked like we had a couple good hits and and got the ball out. And, uh, you know, we, we I thought we were fighting, and we needed to have some good things happen, and that that was helpful to keep us uh, keep us in it in the first half there for a while. Mark, when you all were down 17 nothing and had the ball, and Max hit Ryan uh, on that crossing pattern. And he didn't catch it. How big a play was that? Well, I think it, was, it hurt us quite a bit. So I'm not mistaken. Did they go down and score again right before half? Yeah. Then yeah. uh, you know, we just needed to be off the field. You know, we got to convert. It's tough enough. And uh, you know, we, those are the things that I talk about. The things we can control. The things we can execute. We have to do those things against the quality football team. So, you know, I didn't feel like we gave ourselves much of a chance to win at any point. But you know, certainly, you know, we can execute and do some things better. Are you unhappy about the way you guys tackled tonight? That seemed to be an issue there. Yeah, it, it is, and, and uh, yeah, I, did. I think just going into it, and seeing how physical they run it, and, and how well uh, you know their, their backs run and all that, you know, it was, it was a tough night. Mark, these four games behind you in 12 days now to the next game. Do you approach this with your team as a clean slate, six games? Uh, I do, to some regard. I mean, I just told them we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard. We got to coach better. We got to play better, and uh, that's not acceptable no matter who we're playing. We know how good Alabama is, but we can do some things better. We didn't give it our we didn't play our best tonight. And that's what I'm disappointed about. You know, when you're playing the number one team in the country, at least give it your best shot and go go toe to toe and let the chips fall where they may, but they make you you know, they, they do it. They, you know, they're they're just you know, they're a good team and they do that to a lot of people. And, you know, I've seen them do it to top ten teams, you know, before as well. So uh, but you know, that's that's what I told them. We got to we got to coach better. We got to play better. We got to hold ourselves in this program to a higher standard. We got to play better, and uh, you know we'll do that. We'll clean up our mistakes, and, and we will compete for the second half of this season. And uh, I expect our players to bounce back and, and uh, prepare the right way and play hard. I guess a team like that, how small is the margin of error, both offensively and, and defensively? Yeah, it's 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 tough. It's tough sledding, you know. So. Uh, 
you know, there's no way around it. You know, there's nowhere to hide. You gotta, you gotta man up, and you gotta line up, and you gotta play, and you gotta execute the things you can execute, and uh, you know, get better as a program, and and uh, you know, that's how I wanted to approach it. I wanted to, to, to just go play the game the right way, play play as hard as we can, and be in the right spots, and and look like a good football team, and and we had a few, you know, here and there and all that, but uh, overall, it just wasn't, you know, wasn't wasn't pretty. Mark, how much did it? affect your game plan. I'm sure you plan. You've been given Jalen most of the reps in practice. Obviously his skill set is completely different from Max's. How much does it change when you have that quick, you know, switch from one to the other second? It, it did hurt us. You know, we, we did have some design runs and, and Jalen got most of the snaps uh, throughout the week. And uh, so you know like I said, it's a tough situation for Max to go into against that defense. Uh, so Mark, are they just so physical because they're so talented, they're older, their numbers, or what is it? Well, it, you know, I did notice that throughout the week. I looked at their roster, and uh, you know, you guys could do the research on it exactly. But there, there's quite a few older guys in there, and that's what you do when you have a great program like that. They sprinkle in young talent, and uh, they do a great job. But those are some some big boys that've been around for a while, and, and uh, you know, they're doing things right in that program, and uh, you know, they're 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 doing everything right. They're lifting, they're they're training, they're they're recruiting. They're developing the players they have, and, and uh, so it's a, a great model to, to look at. But uh, but yeah, I think those are some big boys. They're, they're some older guys. Yeah. How did you come out of this? Obviously, you know what Jalen and the other guys like. You, you had several guys yeah. at least go out part part of the game. Yeah, I think we're pretty banged up. I do. I felt that. I tell you, I, I you know been around. We've been some big games for a while, and that, that's yeah that bunch. They beat us up pretty good. Where are those other guys? Where are your other guys? Like Tiller, I think, had a thing. Do you, do you know yeah, I, I don't. You know, there's so many guys. I hate to get into it right now, but we're, we're banged up. Mark, compared to the other three losses, what what was different about tonight? Uh, about this? Well, I think uh, it, it's tough now. It's tough to be in that situation and uh, to go through that. And, the, and the, they make you feel that way. I, I played plenty of good teams and. Uh, and back in the day, you know, when we first started in Arizona so many years ago, and USC was unbelievable. There's a time that you know when you're out there that it's not a good feeling. Let me tell you, that there's not there's not any magical calls out there, and that's what I said going into it. That's the plan. There's nothing magical that you can call. That that team has seen it all, and they execute things right. And that's why I say you got to go in there, line up the right way, do things the right way, and and play them, you know, play them the best you can. You know, and, uh, and that's what we planned on doing. And I was disappointed at times we did that, and a lot of times we didn't. You know, and that's just our execution. I think we can execute a little bit better. Or did you notice any individual guys that looked like they were up to the challenge tonight? Obviously, collectively they weren't. But Eric Dixon seemed to play well early. Yeah, it, it's hard for me to say right now. I I, I, don't, I, I was disappointed in, in, in our overall effort. But you look back on these last four games, is your record kind of deceiving about your progress and where you guys are right now as a team? I think uh, I think we're making progress, but you know I don't think anybody cares. You know what I mean? <laughs> the record is what it is, but we'll see. I, I think uh, I like this group. I think uh, we we uh, were uphill against a great team all night tonight, and. Uh, I'm not going to wait and, you know, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'll wait and get back to work, you know, tomorrow and uh, and uh, get these guys in a position to compete and fight and get better the rest of the way through. I think we have been doing that. And uh, frustrating night tonight. But, again, give them credit. They can do that to a lot of people. Anything else, Coach? All right. Okay. Thank you.